Wow! Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Joel and today I'm going to be talking about the best movie ever that was ever, ever, ever created, Jurassic Park. It came out on this day in 1993, June 11th, 1993. And since I'm probably the biggest fan of Jurassic Park out there, I'm going to be having a Jurassic Park weekend where today I will be sharing facts from the Jurassic Park franchise and tomorrow I'm going to show how I celebrated Jurassic Park's birthday since tomorrow is the one year anniversary of Jurassic World. So I'm going to be giving you 16 facts about the Jurassic Park franchise and hopefully you are entertained by them. So let's get to it. Before Crichton's novel was published, four studios put in bids for the film rights. Because of Universal Studios, Steven Spielberg got the rights for $1.5 million. Jurassic Park grossed over $900 million worldwide in its original theatrical run, becoming the highest grossing film ever at the time. The Jurassic Park franchise has won 40 awards, including three Academy Awards. Michael Crichton originally conceived a screenplay about a grad student who recreates dinosaurs. He became so fascinated with dinosaurs and cloning, he eventually created Jurassic Park. Paleontologist Jack Horner has been a consultant for each Jurassic movie. He is actually the one who suggested the Spinosaurus for Jurassic Park 3. He said it was much bigger and cooler than the T-Rex. Although the fictional islands named Isla Nublar and Sorna are located near Costa Rica, most of the filming took place on the Hawaiian island of Kauai. Some of the storm scenes in Jurassic Park was actual rain. Hurricane Iniki passed directly over Kauai during shooting. The NBA Toronto Raptors adopted their name in 1995 due to the popularity of Jurassic Park. The Lost World has many plot differences compared to the book, but it contains some scenes that happened in the first book. For example, the opening scene in The Lost World features a little girl getting attacked by small dinosaurs. That comes straight from the first book. Jurassic Park 3 was the first film of the franchise to have an original script, but it also incorporated unused elements from Crichton's original Jurassic Park. Universal Pictures wanted to begin production for Jurassic Park 4 in 2004 for a summer of 2005 release. Due to development difficulties, the movie was put on hold and was later announced as the second Jurassic Park trilogy. Many of the original actors were signed for the potential fourth film. This included Richard Attenborough to reprise his role as John Hammond. Unfortunately, he died before he could make one last appearance, but thankfully, he got featured in the form of a statue in Jurassic World. Actor John Krasinski from The Office was in talks for a role as a dinosaur tamer. We eventually got the lovable Chris Pratt as Owen Grady. Other actors considered for this role were Garrett Hedlund, Jason Statham, Jason Sudeikis, Josh Brolin, Henry Cavill, Army Hammer, and Glenn Howerton. Jurassic World's main street was constructed at an abandoned Six Flags in New Orleans. Most of the Jurassic World cast and crew were inspired to pursue film because of Jurassic Park. A lot of them actually skipped school to go see the movie when it first came out. Voice actor Greg Burson played the original voice of Mr. DNA, but because of his death in 2008, director Colin Trevorrow loaned his voice for the Jurassic World movie. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. If you want to see any other kinds of videos, leave them in the comments. You can follow me on Instagram or Snapchat and... I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Bye.